What do you use your calendar for? I guess events, right? Like calls and in real life events. Where do you store your tasks? Probably in a different place from your Google Calendar, right? So how do you organize your tasks and take into account the events that you have in your calendar? Probably you have your calendar app opened and your task manager opened and you're just checking the free time that you have so you can schedule your task accordingly to the events that you have. And then what happens during the week? Some of the things that you have to do, you have in your task manager. Some of the things that you have to do, you have in your calendar app. Is that what we deserve as humans living in 2025? No, it's not. So some time ago, I did something crazy. I deleted Google Calendar. It was no longer serving me. And what I use now, it is for me a game changer. It's got everything in it, my events and my tasks. I can even mark my tasks as completed from that calendar app itself. And in this video, I'm going to show you what this app is, how to set it up and how I use it every week to organize my weeks. Let's get into it. Okay, first of all, let's see what are the routines that I recommend to every client that comes my way. I always recommend following a weekly review. So in my case, this is every Friday or Sunday, if I didn't do it on Friday, I will go into my task manager, which is stored in Notion, and I will drop all the tasks that I want to do in the upcoming week. I believe this solves one of the main problems that we have as entrepreneurs, which is loss of focus. If we don't know what we are gonna get done every day whenever we wake up, we are going to waste a lot of precious time figuring that out. We will be reactive to other people's needs. And what's worse, we will lose the precious perspective that scheduling things ahead of time can give us. So that's why I recommend doing this weekly review. And once we have scheduled our week in advance, then every day at the end of the day, before we log off, I will come back, review the plan, and if some things were late or we didn't do, we will move them to the next day and reschedule the day accordingly. So at least the next day is always crystal clear what we are going to do. So these are the routines. Now, how are we going to do them? Well, for this, I use a couple of tools. One, Notion. Notion is going to be the base for all my tasks. And the second one is Notion calendar because it can synchronize with my task manager. So then I can have this unified view that I was talking to you about. Let's see how I set them up. So first of all, we need to have a task database with a status property. As you can see, this is a status property. This is the only thing that we need. Then we need a view within the core database instead of Notion that it's in calendar format. Once we do this and we have Notion calendar installed in our computer and we are doing this inside of the Notion desktop app, not on the web browser, we will have this button over here that says open in calendar. Or if you've never linked Notion with Notion calendar, there will be another button. I don't remember what it said, but like link to calendar or something like that. And when we click on this button, our calendar will appear in the new view will appear over here. Nothing really appeared because I already had it. But now this view in Notion will be synced with this view over here. So here we can already see the magic happening. I have all my events, the calls that I have, my gym, my eating, my running, my biking, and my tasks here in purple. But now let's see how I use it. So every week I have this created. I'm creating this page in make.com with a recurring automation and I have my weekly review process. I review my last week's tasks so I can actually feel what I did because a lot of times my girlfriend asked me, what do you do today? And I do not know. <laughs> I need Notion to remind that to me. And I have it in this view over here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and everything that I did. Next, reviewing the week. I'm, I'm not gonna get into this. It's just plus, minus, what did I do well? What did I do wrong? And the next actions that I, that I wanna take and some other things. And here is the useful and important part, planning the week. At the top, I have my projects, the ones that are active and that are in progress. So I can check what I said to myself that I was gonna do project-wise. And I can take that into consideration whenever I'm adding new tasks that I may want to do for the upcoming week. And below here, I have the actual scheduling view. Here I have all the tasks that I have not done and that are assigned to myself in list view and grouped by the project. And here on the right, I have a view of the same task database, but in calendar format, because this is going to allow me to just take a task from here and drop it in there. So let's say that I want to schedule the week. In fact, today is Friday. so. I'm going to schedule the week and 
I, I have some tasks that I have not done in the previous week that I have over here. So what I will do is, this may not be the best way, but it is the way that I have found that works for me. I will just take them all and bring them to Monday. If I still want to do them, if I read some, some of these tasks and I believe that it doesn't make sense to do them anymore, I will just clear date, which is a button that I have created for this purpose. Okay, let's say that I want to do everything on the next week. So I will just move everything to Monday. Why am I doing this? Because this is a little bit of a mess, right? Well, if I go now to Google Calendar and I go to Monday, all the tasks will appear here. And what I will do is I will put them out of the way so then I can schedule them one by one wherever they belong. But now I'm doing it inside of my Notion Calendar, which includes all the different events that I already have. Plus, I have also build something which is my ideal week calendar, which I use to separate the work that I do every morning. So it goes to a different bucket of the company, CEO and vision work, content creation, growth projects, marketing, and more content creation. So like this, all the recording tasks can go into content creation, for example, take thumbnail, build UTM infrastructure. This is a growth project and like this. If I schedule my week and I still have more time to do more things, I can come here and take whatever of these tasks and put it inside of Monday or Tuesday, whatever. And then it will appear in Notion Calendar and I can find the proper time when I'm going to do it. And at the end of this process, I already have my week fully scheduled, taking into account all the events that I have. And what I do daily is just come to Google Calendar, see what I have for, to for, for today and do it because now inside of Google Calendar, we have this status property. So if this is the main thing that I need to do on Monday, whenever I will start doing it, I will just mark it as in progress. I will start doing it. Whenever I finish, I will just mark it as done. And this will disappear from this view because inside of the calendar that we are using to mirror inside of our Notion calendar, I have it filter by status is not complete. So whenever I complete something, it will disappear from this view and therefore it is also going to disappear from this one. And well, this is how I schedule my week. Now I'm gonna go on and schedule the actual week. I'm gonna follow the process because this is the day that I do it. And I hope that you found it useful because this is really solving the problem of having everything in one place. Because I tried to do the opposite, which is to bring all the data from the calendar into Notion. But I don't know about you, but I don't like this view at all. It is not clear to me. It is not time bound. I, I don't know. I will have to read this to, to know at what time I have to. Do. This is so much more visual. So yeah, this approach wins for me by a mile. And well, that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.